Testies, testies, and der toi. Right, welcome to another video. Today we're going to take a look at the stuff that I use for multi-day backpacking trips and we're going to have a few hints and tips along the way, so stay tuned. Right, this is the base kit. We're not including the walking poles in the, in the overall weight or food and drink and fuel. So this is just the base kit of what I take with me. So this kit, basically, let me just take you through it. This kit is, is geared around multi-day hikes in wet weather conditions. So bear that in mind. These are my trekking poles, core candles, because they're just more comfy the longer distances you're doing. And a top tip is gaffer tape. Just keep some gaffer tape around your pole. It don't wear out, and it can. Uh, it's good for fixing your jackets, your sleeping bag, your tent, all manner of different things. Right on the outside of the pack, uh, I'll use this now. I've got my. Uh, this is another top tip. This is my Z light, part of my Z light, because you can get one of these for. I don't know how much they are. I'll put it up here now, and you can cut the bottom bit off, and then you can still have the rest of it as a pad. And this makes the perfect sit pad for me. The other ones that you get are a little bit too small. This is just ideal to be used as a porch outside your tent or just when you stop to keep your ass from getting wet. Also on the outside, just a simple rain jacket. Top of the range rain jackets, man. The cost, you can be paying for up to 300 quid for a rain jacket and I'm not playing that. Not playing that game just yet. This is a Frog Togs. Excellent reviews online about these. It's cheap, it's simple and it's waterproof that's all you need let's take a look in the top part first thing we get to is the old dd rain cover it's going to be wet where i'm going let's just say i'm going doing the west island way in scotland so it's going to be wet for multi-day hikes it's key to keep dry also in here this i want to show you this actually this is ultra light for this long distance hike i didn't want to buy a load of new stuff because i've got I've got a full room dedicated to camping gear, so I can just go in there and choose whatever I want out of my old kit, and there's no point in me buying loads of new stuff. But, I have a new phone, <laughs> and it doesn't fit the pockets on the Osprey 48 like it does on the, on the Aether. So, what I've done to counter that is I've got this. Folds inside out and you have the perfect bum bag which it's got a zip pocket in the front which can you know trail mix bits and pieces and then a decent sized back pocket which can fit my phone my batteries camera whatever whatever you want and then that goes at the front of me and then the, the Osprey side pouch is either side. So I've got three pouches in the front of me and it, it's really cool. It's really good. It's comfy. And you just fold it inside out to store it. Simple, real quick. And you just pop that back in your bag or in your pocket, whatever you want. It's got a little attachment thing there. These are excellent. They come in a lot of different colors as well. So get it. What else in top one? Oh, some of this stuff, man, in case you get a sprain. I sprained my ankle early doors on the coast to coast and some dude who I got chatting with uh, sorted me out with some of this and I strapped my ankle up and it did the trick. So always take that with me. This, I want to show you this. I don't, I'm probably not going to take it, but it's a little rechargeable motorized doohickey for blowing up the airbed. Don't weigh much at all. I was, I'm just toying with the idea. As soon as we can get out, I'm going to trial it properly on multi-day hikes. But you see, you can recharge there. And I just think after a full day's hiking, one of the things I don't like doing is blowing up my mat. So if that can do it for me, it's worth a little bit of extra weight. My first aid kit is just in a in a Ziploc bag, and it's just really simple. We've just got 
antihistamines, painkillers, lastoplast, compedes, very important. Also for Scotland, a tick key. I've been on a few walks around and about recently and I've, I've seen warnings for ticks which I've not seen before. So, and I'd, I, last year, each, each, each year I keep getting more and more, so this is important. I did a mini video on how to get this out on Instagram, how to, how to use this on Instagram, which I'll put up now. Get out of the shower, no, it's in the shower. This little bleeder, which is a tick. It is tick season and I've noticed more ticks out there this year than any other. So, twist, pop him out, there you go, look. There he is. Tick extraction in underpants. <laughs> good morning, have a good day. Um, it's just, you just get it round and twist it twist it and pull it out and there's two different keys there for it. one for the tiny little boys and one for the big lads oh, on this which is just uh it weighs now and it's just a few waterproof matches a scalpel safety pin bit of fishing line whatever it don't weigh out and it's uh it's coming with me into the bag we go come on come into the bag with me my airbed is the neo x firm and I'll be going in uh, in spring, so it'll still be pretty cold. So this will give me insulation and comfort. My tent of choice is the Lanshan 2 Pro. And that'll be set up with my black diamond walking poles. I've done a few mods with this. I've put some uh, some Dyneema up in there to use as uh, just to hang my socks on and my light and whatnot. And these... I have which are metal which will replace the flimsy plastic ones that come with the Lanshan. My electrics which are just a few a couple of spare batteries for my camera, my earphones, an anchor battery charger, and also in there is my torch. It's not the lightest of torches, but I bought this uh, from Decathlon when I when I left mine at home one time when I went to see Joey D and it's become my favourite torch. It's just, it's just really good. And it's, uh, it's got a recharge. You can have a rechargeable battery or, or disposable batteries. And yeah, really like it. So that's coming with me. Clothes bag. All we've got is I've got this Rab synthetic, uh, this Rab layer, really light, really good for wicking sweat. I have me Acclima merino wool leggings shout out nordic outdoors i'll put a link to them below and i'll just pop them on when i when i set up my camp got a buff snood which will also double up as a a covid face protection unit it's the world we live in i've got these which are these are excellent darn tough socks and i'll have one which i'll always wear for bed and around in the tent so never to get wet and we'll have these and the ones that I'm wearing which I'll rotate and wash where and when I can. What else we got? Uh, an extra pair of pants. I'll just take two pairs of duds and just rotate them. It's all right getting a bit scruffy. You're not out there to do out other than hike. And a thin pair of North Ridge gloves just to stop the wind chill when I'm using my hiking sticks and when I get back to camp. Now, I thought long and hard about this because it is extra weight, but I'm going to take it anyway. And this is my Alp Kit Hunker XL bivy bag because <clears throat> Scotland is notoriously wet and you don't get any let up. It could, you have to prepare for, for a week or two of just solid rain. So I don't want my sleeping bag to be getting wet and losing its insulative properties. So I decided to take this with me. My bivy bag will go over my sleeping bag while I'm in the tent to stop condensation getting to the sleeping bag. And if the weather's fine, fingers crossed, if the weather's fine and I feel a bit daring, then I'll just use this instead of my tent. Just put it over myself, bag in the bottom and a quick kip in that. Pillow of choice. I'm going with the Trekology. Trekology pillow. Comfort is key. When you're doing multi-day hikes, you need the kip. So I, I'm not going to go ultra, ultra light. Uh, this is my cook kit. I've got my pot stand. 
pot stand soaks 500 mil titanium pot now I did use the BSR, a little small wispy stove on my coast to coast, but it eventually did let me down. So I've gone for something with a bit more, a bit more robust, the MSR pocket rocket and my folding titanium spork. That's got a gas canister in there, but it's got hardly out in it, so, and a, a little sponge to dry up and wash with, a towel, and then underneath there is a little Bic lighter. That's all self-contained. Right, what else we got? There we go. Right. I got these Delta pegs. I've got metal stakes for this tent, but these four will just go on each, each corner. I'm going at a time of year where the weather can be very changeable, so I just want to be safe and not have to worry about my tent, so I've gone for them. A little possibles pouch, quickly run through this. I've got a compass, some wet wipes, and here we've got my, there's a, a travel toothbrush, travel toothpaste, and earplugs, essential for any camping trip. I've got my Oppenel knife, that's my knife of choice, lightweight, love it. I'm taking this with me. It has the magnesium and the ferro rod on there. A get out of jail free card in case my lighter cacks it. And I can start fires and stuff with that. And then this is a top tip for anyone. Hand warmers. I'm debating whether to take them with me or not, but during winter and when it's a bit cold, if you just crack a couple of these and chuck them in your sleeping bag before you get in at night, that is a top tip. It'll do you wonders. And then, what else? that's it mate last thing and then the sleeping bag is a bit toying with idea of getting a new lighter sleeping bag and all that but I don't need one stick with what I've got the Alp kit three season pipe dream love it that's the soya micro squeeze for purifying water it's part of my family <laughs> and that's it that's all my kit weighing in at 7.4 kilograms and then there's just the stuff that I'll be wearing uh, which I'm still up in the air about. I'm, st I'm still testing out my me, uh, me new lower boots. I've put many miles in on them and uh, they're working out very well. They're not as light as the Solomon, but they're a lot sturdier and that's what I want. I lot, want a lot of ankle support for this one. Ooh, right, just as it's starting to rain. And that's my kit. It's going to be, I'm going to tweak it a little bit and there's a few other little bits and pieces that I'm going to be taking with me. So I'll do a little update a day or two before I go. But for now, that's it. And I hope, uh, I hope you've enjoyed the video. I hope you've learned something or gathered something from it. Well, I better get this kit away. It's starting to rain. Thanks for watching and I'll see you all soon. Ta-ta. <laughs>